Welcome back to Wake Up Sierra Leone here on YV Television and Radio. Uh, for the last half of the program this morning, we've been joined by a colleague who has been a very hard-working staff, very productive and instrumental in the newsroom in bringing news to you, whether by reporting or reading the news or producing. He has been very instrumental. Well, today he returned back from the United States of America where he attended a World Bank session and he came back making AYV proud and making Sierra Leone proud as he grabbed an award. Toloma Suma, welcome yes. back. Yeah. Welcome you. back to Sierra Leone. <laughs> thank you very Welcome much. back before <laughs> Independence <laughs> Celebration and the AYV TV Award. Yes, and I say uh, happy independence in advance. <laughs> uh, take us through um, the program you attended in America. Uh, what was it? What was it about? The program is... Uh, we call it a blog for development competition that was uh, organized by the African region of the World Bank. Uh, and then I was the winner for Sierra Leone. Or can I say I am the winner for Sierra Leone? Yeah, because you're still <laughs> till next you year, till somebody else wins. Yes, um, I am the winner for Sierra Leone. So by virtue of that, I am now a, a member of a special program created by the World Bank called um, Youth Transforming Africa. I'm trying uh, not to get too excited, yeah. so I would not grab you for a hug or clap right now. We'll do that later. But there are a series of journalists in the country. We have a lot of journalists. How did you get to be the winner of that? How did you make it on that list to be a part of the program? Oh, uh, the competition generally was not like uh, centered on media or journalists. It was an open competition for young people uh, across the country. Um, it was um, how can we give uh, uh, our perspective into the development of Africa as a whole and narrowing that to your country. Uh, that was how, what the competition was about. So we give different ideas and then 10 people were selected. Uh, out of the 10, three more were, it was reduced to three. Then the three I emerged as winner for Sierra Leone. There are also other winners from other countries. We are. 33 in number, but uh, 23 of us made it to the U.S. because some had some issues with uh, getting the U.S. visa. So that is it. But what did you write about? Because with the number of people <laughs> you, you said that participated, yeah, yeah. what did you really write about that brought you this beautiful achievement? Yeah. Uh, so this is my blog post that uh, won me the, 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 the space. Uh, it was... Uh, my own was uh, on the, the job market, uh, the future of youth in the job market, uh, because that was the theme. So for me, I proposed three issues uh, in my blog. Uh, one, of those was, uh, uh, one of those was to see how best we can uh, nurture, we can invest heavily on the innovation, because I think uh, the, 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 because of the world is going digital, I think we need, uh, we need to nurture the innovative skills of youth in Sierra Leone, and not just in Sierra Leone, in Africa as a whole. Uh, the second thing I, I, I mentioned was industrialization. Uh, I think Africa has been left out of uh, industrialization. Uh, so if we industrialize our economies or we industrialize our market, I think we can create more jobs for youth. And then also the last thing that was so unique to my blog, of all the blogs, is that uh, I propose that uh, we should now make it compulsory for all governments to create certain amount of jobs. Uh, I think that uh, governments over the time have been uh, neglecting the issues of giving youth jobs because it is not compulsory. I think that uh, we should make laws that, are, that will make it's composing for every government to provide at least some amount of jobs. For example, we can say the BO-led government should provide 1.5 million jobs. And then if he did not provide the 1.5 million jobs, I think we should, he should face the Hague. So that are the three points I mentioned. I, 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 I'm, going to, I'm going to read an excerpt, especially yeah. the, um, the one that was specifically um, on Sierra Leone. Yeah. And of course, um, Africa youth and their future in the job market is yeah. the headline of yeah. your blog. Yeah. And it says, in my country, Sierra Leone, 
people do different things in small scale and there has been an outcry for industrialization mm -hmm. but nothing has been done i remember a local shoe manufacturer saying he could manufacture boots for the entire security forces mm -hmm. in the country if he is supported mm -hmm. but nothing has been done to date with government support the local shoe manufacturer would not only be able to manufacture shirts a huge number of boots but he would also be able to employ thousands of youth in the country paving the way to increase youth employment there are many other case studies in the areas of fashion, agriculture, mining, and yeah. marine, etc., yeah. etc. Et yeah. This is key, and I think this is where it boils down to the fact that government should start tapping into the innovative ideas yeah. of young people like yourself, mm -hmm. which definitely on a global stage, you've demonstrated that you have the idea to help transform Sierra Leone in terms of development. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of your representation, how are you going to use this to ensure that, at the end of the day, government benefits from your ideas? Uh, thank you very much for the question. Uh, I think we, my, 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 my attendance at the World Bank Spring meetings, uh, who have been coached uh, on how to go about some of these things. Uh, I think now it's time to engage the government. But uh, while I was in the spring meetings, uh, I told them uh, the problems of Africa are not that uh, that are hidden. We all know the problems of Africa, and I told them this is time for action. Uh, this is time we should not be talking, 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 talking. And then it will interest you to know that uh, they called me at, the, at various meetings that demand for action, uh, because I think the problems are not hidden. So. For me, it's time to engage the government, tell them this is the idea. Uh, if World Bank will buy my idea, I think uh, it means it's a great idea. I have it, great it mean, ideas. It means you're, you're, yes. ve you're very rich because if the, the global <laughs> bank is actually buying yes, your idea. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so um, uh, it's really something I think the government needs to tap in. But I think there is an issue we are in uh, governments in our country are not uh, that can I say not who cannot take some of these issues seriously I, I can put it that way mm -hmm. because uh, when I won this blog competition for Sierra Leone I tried reaching out to certain government officials certain politicians to help me out because I was asked to pre-finance myself but uh, nobody came to my aid so I think that uh, it's a problem in our country. I know it's going to be tough getting to them, but uh, I think if we go this way, uh, it's going to create problem for youth that have ideas. So I think government should look into maybe my blog, read it carefully, then if they have any clarifications to make, then I'm uh, available for that. So. I think I will work with them if they give me an open hand. Now let's look at this and beautiful um, pack you've got Yes, here. yes. Yes, the so this is the itself. award itself. Yeah, this is the award itself from uh, World Bank African Region. Uh, and it reads the World Bank yeah. IBRD IDA World Bank Group. It says hashtag blog for dev 2019 and Paloma Suma mm -hmm. winner for Sierra Leone. Winner for Sierra Leone. And, they, they should and have also put the Solomon Suma of AYG. <laughs> 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 so yes, and, and, and it's award. quite interesting. The yeah. tagline there is yes, not yes. Solomon winner for AYV yes. or winner for w w yes. your family. Yes. Winner, for winner, winner for Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. And uh, they exactly. do not say winner from Sierra Leone. They yes. say um, winner, winner for Sierra, Sierra Leone. Leone. So yes. I think this is uh, an award for Sierra Leone. Yeah. Uh, and then it's a great deal that uh, Sierra Leone now is. Uh, we have somebody from Sierra Leone that mm -hmm. is on the panel of what. Uh, of the new um, group created by the World Bank called the Youth Transform in Africa that will be giving them the challenges of youth in, in, Africa. in Africa and specifically that of Sierra Leone because um, now that in itself is a beautiful opportunity yeah. how do you how would you be using this platform mm -hmm. to channel the challenges and issues that young people in the mm -hmm. country face mm -hmm. to the new team you're a part of uh, because um, how do the, the team, young people add their voices to that platform through you? Yes, the team is a is a is a communication team. The the the, the, the Africa, uh, African region external communications and partnerships. So it is more of communication. So 
uh, as a journalist, I think I'm. And this area of speciality. Well. So, <laughs> 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 so I'm a communicator as well. So. I think uh, we are discussing yet as a group the strategies to use. Like yesterday night, we are discussing different things of how we can engage youth in our different countries. But uh, for the meantime, I think uh, the social media can be a good start. Uh, maybe ask some few questions on social media, and then people will be replying. I think that's a very good way of assessing what people think should happen for Sierra Leone, and then what people think. The, the, the issues of uh, uh, youth are. Uh, um, for example, wh while I was living, I posted something that I'm living for Washington, D.C. Uh, I tried to have some help from government officials and then some politicians. They did not help, but thank God I'm going on. So there are some youth who commented that same has happened to them. So I think uh, it's, 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 it's an issue. It's a culture. Uh, yes, it's, it's, a it's, it's a culture. So it's very easy to get some of these views on social media. And Taloma, this is a huge responsibility that has been given to you. Yeah. The young people we have in Sierra Leone, obviously not all of them are in the capital city. And even those who are out of the capital city, not mm. all of them have access to internet. But they do have issues too, mm. that they, they really want to communicate. I can remember over the weekend on Saturday, I was in Kenema, mm. and those people, the young people there, had a lot to say in a very short period. It was live on AYV as well mm -hmm. when they were, were speaking out on the challenges they face. How would you make an effort mm -hmm. to get the voices and concerns of these young people mm -hmm. out of the capital city factored into your membership in the group? Uh, this, this, this was answered by one of our colleagues while, while he's in the U.S., and then he was saying, okay, let's have uh, uh, a networking system in the country wherein youth can be uh, uh, participating in, as I just said, maybe social media. But um, I was, I was uh, quick to raise the, the issue that, as you said, that uh, internet is not everywhere in Sierra Leone or every part of, of Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. So we need more than uh, internet to engage other youth. Uh, so one of the things I proposed was that uh, we need community engagement. So if we say now, I will sit in the city, maybe they have more better heads than Toloma, right? Maybe wh when this uh, competition came, if internet was around Sierra Leone, somebody from the provinces would have won. I'm not saying I, I am more, because of I'm now the winner, I'm everything in Sierra Leone. There are more, there are more youths who are 10 times better than uh, Toloma. Uh, so I think community engagement is key and also engaging uh, community media houses uh, is key for me. But that comes with uh, maybe resources. Issues. Huge yeah. financial yeah. implications. And so your resources would have challenges like how you, 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 you navigate your way through mm -hmm. that responsibility yeah. Yeah. and your role at AYV mm -hmm. as a journalist. Yeah. How would you be navigating your way through? Uh, I was at AYV when I participated in the competition. I will still be in AYV and then do what I, I, I should do. <laughs> just that, uh, AYV we will just have, have to, to give have you a some fine time. balance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. thank God your boss here, the director <laughs> of news and current affairs, <laughs> is celebrating with you. We, so I'm sure he'll I mean, be considerate we, enough to yeah. give you that space. We are, we are, uh, honestly, I think on behalf of <laughs> the CEO himself, we're very yeah. proud of you. I mean, as an institution, as yeah. individuals, we are very, very proud of you, of mm. this particular achievement. Mm. And I think um, the exposure you've, you've had, you've gotten, is going to actually help in um, yeah. the profession. It's going to also add more value yeah. to AYV as an institution, sure. besides what you would have mm -hmm. um, done for yourself mm -hmm. as an individual. And I, I, I think we have to make a commitment as an institution that um, we are always and we will always continue to support in, um, mm. individuals in their um, individual undertakings for as long as it brings additional value to you, the individual, and the institution, of course, Sierra Leone, by extension. So we're very proud of you, and we want to say congratulations, and uh, this calls for <laughs> celebration. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm happy that that is coming directly from my immediate boss. And then the panelists, 
Uh, all my bosses <laughs> are really somehow timid, you know. Don't worry, you have, you have, you have a thank congratulatory you. launch yeah. on you today. Mm. As I say, congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. For a job well done. You've made um, us all so proud. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, before so we let you go right now, mm, Toloma, mm. what would be your closing courtesies as a way of advice to mm. the young people yeah. in Sierra Leone? How do we make ourselves more relevant? How do we actualize the, the, the saying that, yes, we are the leaders of today's generation? Uh, whilst in the U.S., uh, we, whilst presenting, we had this uh, slogan, the future is us, as young people. Uh, earlier this year, January um, first, I posted something on social media and I titled it, uh, Prayers and Wishes are not the solutions. Yeah. Uh, I think young people have they have been so dependent on the miracles. Uh, I think you cannot just be praying to God, praying to God, that God please help me, and then you lie down uh, in, your, in your bed, and then thinking God will bring manners from, from, from heaven. That was in the days of Moses. Uh, and then that, that, that even happened because of certain circumstances, and I doubt it if it will happen today. So I think young people need to rise up, and then they need to realize that uh, they have potentials, uh, even though I know it is frustrating, like what happened to me, but um, I keep on pushing, and then I, I, I won, right? So I think they should rise up, and one of the things I said in that post, even if it has to do uh, with you going to a cookery buffer to wash plates, just that you have something on the table, please do, so that at least you can be relevant in society. D d d did, you go, did you go to places? Did you enjoy? Did you have fun? <laughs> Uh, the meetings were that tight, you know, it's like um, you're moving from this meeting, going to this meeting, you're I meeting different people. So like the timing to, to, to move around was not, was not that much. But uh, I visited a few places like the Nizium, uh, I visited some family uh, residents, uh, and then we moved. Which states did you, where you were you uh, in? Washington, D.C. Mm. Yeah. There are people who would like to see the pictures. So, Paula um, Masuma, kindly announce your social media handles. So, those who are watching right now who would want to see the pictures or who might also want to connect with you yes. on these issues would reach out. Your social media handles. Um, I am in different social media, and uh, I am the only Toloma Suma in the whole of uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, the whole That's of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I am the only Toloma Suma, so just type Toloma Suma in all the social media handles, and then you will get me. My name is spelled as T H O L O M A S U M A H. Don't leave the, the H behind, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it's it very important. Uh, uh, you know, some of these social media uh, uh, things are uh, they are like Google, so. As you, you started the name, maybe it will just pop up. Okay. So I am H, yes, S U M A H. So just type it on Twitter, on the Facebook, on the Instagram, uh, anyone you know. Mm. You Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Toloma <laughs> Suma. We'll talk about the launch later, <laughs> which you, you get to enjoy as a, a treat. Okay, thank you. From there, we go straight to reviewing the local tabloids across the country today. And uh, let's see what's making headlines and just on the newspapers. Just before, just before that, we still need to um, announce to our viewers and listeners that we await the arrival of um, representatives from the Office of the First Lady and the Ministry of Information. Um, they promised, they gave us their word, that they are going to be here to talk on the country's um, independence celebration. So we still await them. And um, if at all, um, the do not show up, we would have to apologize on behalf of those honorable people who um, are yet to even communicate with us whether or not they're on their way. We go to um, the headlines on the front pages of the newspapers. And to start with, for obvious reasons, we, it's the Africa Young Voices newspaper. Of course, um, AYV TV fourth anniversary, 10 more days to go, uh, 10 more days to go to the 27th of April yes. Sierra Leone's independence so we celebrate as well. two in one exactly. Sierra Leone's independence and AYV mind you it's not the AYV brand that is turning four years no mm -hmm. it's the AYV television specifically channel 33 not even channel 34 yeah so AYV TV channel 33 is turning four years on April 27th yes and of course new British Eye Commissioner for Saloon the 
The lead story here says inside AYV's compound at Western Street in Freetown, Zach Orji holds audition today. Councillor Zang talks on um, Sino Africa trade. Of course, you have the photo of Zach to go with that particular story. That's it for the front page of the Africa Young Voices newspaper. Well, on Global Times newspaper this morning, it carries on its front page SLCAA resolves jet A1 fuel crisis. Also on the front page, it says, Be your women to organize independence celebration. Going there, you'll see a picture of the Deputy Minister of Information and Communications, the First Lady, and the Minister of Tourism. You would also see on the front page, FIU engages commercial banks on anti-money laundering. Also, there's um, Carl calls for non-violence against women. The back page, you'll find latest sports news. That's about it and more content in Global Times newspaper for today. Vasea update says Deputy Speaker orders suspension of procurement of FISA. MDAs are to account for billions of leons caught in the country's ACC boss. That's it for the Sierra update. And Nightwatch newspaper carries on its front page today the sub, um, to support government's decentralization drive. NPPA set to open Bo office. Also there, NASA's fake $2 million IT system, NAPOS exposed. Also there, it says on 20th April 2019, Waterloo poised to commence 200 years celebrations. <laughs> and again, Munafa Mpati gives 50 million loans worth of groundnut seedings to women farmers. Back page carries, well, Easter greetings. <laughs> You'll okay. find more there. From inside. the Night Watch to the New Age newspaper. Total to provide 50,000 liters of fuel daily. Special technical audit report, ACC boss versus deputy speaker. This story is very important um, in the fight against corruption. I think um, what, has, what has been happening has to do with whenever there is an audit report, mm -hmm. you have to table it to parliament. You have no rights to go into it because... Um, it's not a public document until Parliament debated on it. But the beautiful I, thing is the Anti-Corruption Commission acts upon tips and, and all these things. They have their own sources of that's information. What, that's, that's what so the ACC boss is saying. And, and they will tell you it's... Um, they, they get the information wherever. Once they get it, they jump into it. So yes. it's, you know, every institution functions on its own. That's why I say there's, there's at the end of the day, there's that... Um, there's that homophilia between all the institutions. There's that common ground where they all meet. That's the point of connection. And the, the argument being advanced has to do with, um, well, is, is Parliament undermining the efforts of the Anti-Corruption Commission? Because the Commission is trying to ensure that um, they, they, they weed out, out corruption. But again, it has to do with the legitimacy of Parliament, the powers of Parliament. Remember, it is the only arm that monitors, that regulates itself. Well, I think there's, there's a bit of a power struggle there, which yes. at some point, if it's not cautioned or properly understood, would be at the detriment of the country. Because it's, um, personally, I don't see anything wrong in the Anti-Corruption Commission saying, I would like to look into this issue. For me, I say, a, a clear example would be, um, let's say a case of rape is reported to the police, and then Ministry of Social Welfare says, okay, we're jumping in as well. Would the police say, don't jump in? It, 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 it means more hands coming on deck to get the one solution. So personally, I, I, I don't think there's, there's an issue there. If the ACC is taking up these issues <laughs> to say, let's start the yeah. investigation. A, a friend of mine asked, um, Samuel, is this sincere, is this genuine, or it's just a cover-up because maybe some names from Parliament are mentioned in that report? Mm -hmm. I said we would ask the questions. Yes, we would. And another story on the front page of the New Age says, female survivors of 2018 election violence demand justice. That's it for the New Age. Now, the um, Calabash newspaper carries on its front page today, Schumann Hospital continues to flourish in service delivery. And also on that front page there today, it says ACC will investigate the technical audit report. Francis Benkaifala affirms. Uh, also on the front page, it says at TED in Canada, President Bio recounts how they seized power and later elected president. As first rounds end, Premier League second tournament to commence soon. Competent managerial team keeps taking NP higher. And also MD of Africa speaks on successes.
Well, is there more you'll find in the Calabash? From the Calabash to the new cities in Tolumbo, and it says leadership as mission. The power of why not? I think this this has to do with the um, statement of President Bio yeah. that I was talking about. I said, my God, I think the president the president has fine fine speech writers. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I was going through that message. <laughs> the message, the, the, the speech was awesome, was awesome. And again, I referenced the new phrase on the BBC, yeah. um, which I will not say. <laughs> SLRS oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> corruption allegation, Dr. Sarah Bendu arrested. Schumann Hospice will continues to flourish in service delivery, and that's it for the New Citizen Tolongo newspaper. Now, Premier News newspaper carries on its front page today. Um, do not judge by appearances. A rich heart may be under a poor coat. And that's a Scottish proverb, I guess, meant there to inspire people this morning. Uh, suffering is in silence, the case of TB in Sierra Leone. Also on the front page, it says, Bath District Council trains 100 teachers under apartment for rent. Well, if you're looking for a place, there's, there's one um, advert on Premier News. And Sierra Leone to ratify six ILO conventions. So you'll find more inside as well of Premier News newspaper. The Awareness Times says, after world-class delivery, at Horace's 2019 global event in Portugal and completing annual medicals in Germany, honest by Chroma jets in last evening from European trip. Standard chartered global run on Belt and Road reaches Salon. HEBO, leadership as mission, the power of why not? Those are the stories on the Awareness Times newspaper. Now let's take it straight to the Guardian newspaper having on its front page this morning an advertisement for a house for rent in case you're looking out to get an apartment. And um, on the front page it says, as the rains darken, Fogbo fire victims are yet to get proper shelter. It also says ACC to squeeze KME. Um, COP SL supports campaign to reconcile divided communities. These and more you'll find inside as well of um, the Guardian newspaper. My final pick is the exclusive newspaper, and it says Cherry Coco shakes high cut. Election petition cases, APC snobbed. Of course, you have um, the photo of the 2018 presidential candidate of the party, Dr. Samura Kamara, the party's national secretary general, Ambassador Osma Fode Yansane, the publicity secretary, Cornelius Divo, and of course the party's um, leader in parliament, Honorable Chelno Ramadan Majuba. From the United States of America, the, okay, I thought the story has to do with Tholoma. <laughs> From the United States of America, okay. 319 Sierra Leoneans to be deported. That's it for my final pick. And my final pick this morning is the Independent Observer newspaper, which carries on its front page while well, another advert for a house to let while well, news items purporting to be resident minister north two hair dressers arrested at McKinney 198 complaints at human rights commission Brian on licious two dogs on Petra mm. at the back page you'll find sports news it says salon um, athletes miss out under 18 and under 20 all Africa games also saying swimming to host annual national swimming championship these stories and more you'll find inside and at the back page well these newspapers are sold out 2,000 leons per copy grab yourselves a copy of the local but ensure the today. first copy you grab is the Africa young voices Definitely. newspaper and then be abreast with issues there. in these newspapers you'll find also job advertisements um, obituary announcements and lots more even those who are looking to rent out apartments there um, um, notices of such in the newspapers so grab a copy and stay in tune with the news you could also join um, front page on AYV this morning where um, detailed review of these newspapers would be done in the program and um, finally um, Tholoma how do um, us the young people especially those of us at AYV should learn from you uh, I think uh, somebody's, uh, somebody else's uh, life is always a, a mirror to another person. So I think that um, since we are, we are fortunate to be exposed to internet here, let's keep on to 
the internet there are a lot of opportunities on the internet uh so you can even come to me ask me where do you think some of these opportunities are i'm available to help but then just google google things say okay i need opportunities opportunities on certain area they will come up then then be careful not to be scammed because that is also yeah. another issue but uh, i think there are credible sources that you can have uh, most of some of these opportunities mm -hmm. then uh, before going uh, this year's uh, meetings we are centered on the uh, 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 human capital development uh, and uh, and then uh, 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 how can i put it human capital development and uh, digitalizing the economies of uh, Africa. Africa. So uh, most of the discussions we are saying uh, we should go digital to maybe avoid uh, corruption because uh, when if everything is uh, computerized and then you just speak to the computer like I did because uh, if it was um, maybe a man-to-man -man issue maybe something would have been played but yeah. uh, I didn't see a single World Bank person until I was declared a winner. So I think uh, going digital is important but my message to the world bank uh, during the meetings was that uh, we we need we need it we need digitalization but uh, i think we should be the producers of our hardware because uh, going digital we need computers we need other infrastructural uh, development but uh, their own discussion was just pushing africa to go digital but how can we go digital when we cannot produce our own hardware so this has been my argument with them uh, even with some colleagues who won from uh, other uh, African countries yeah like uh, yesterday night somebody was telling me uh Talama, do you know what uh we need to first um, raise the awareness of digitalization we need to first uh, make the youth to learn the, 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 the digital space that is available so that uh, later we can now manufacture we are not ready for manufacturing yet so and then i said okay wh what do you mean you're telling me let's roof our house without building the world because if you say you are going to digitalize the economy and then we cannot produce the hardware, uh, that's very expensive. For instance, uh, AYV, let me take AYV for an example. Uh, Ambassador Anthony Navo Jr. is giving a lot of bi billions of loans to somebody outside Sierra Leone for hardware importation, right? Uh, because for AYV to, to, to be seen in every uh, corner of this country, it needs a very massive uh, investment on hardware. So uh, he is importing them. So I am proposing we should produce this hardware so that instead of ambassador getting somebody rich outside Sierra Leone, that person will be rich here. Instead and, of and, making and somebody build an economy, outside Sierra Leone, uh, yes, uh, and then it will be uh, our economy. What's the potential for Sierra Leone to get to that point where? Even rice that we grow in Sierra yeah. Leone, we're not mm. able to properly export that on a large scale. What's the possibility of us getting to that point? Well, w w when I raise this point at the World Bank, I think people are doubting the potentials of Africa in that uh, uh, respect. Like uh, the country manager here, Gil Maitin, uh, I had a meeting with her, and then I proposed the same to her. And then he w she was saying, oh, tell me, you know what, we cannot compete with people uh, like uh, China, we cannot compete like I said, we are not competing. We are simply producing our own hardware, right? Uh, so what's the potential? I think we have the potential. It is just about redirecting our focus on what we do. We are spending a lot of money on importing rice. We are spending a lot of money on importing other things, right? Mm. So if we redirect that money we are using on importing rice to that of producing rice, I think uh, that's, that, that's great. Because um, those we are buying rice from, they are investing money on the rice, right, for the production, and then they sell it to us for and profits. Maximize profits. Right? So we can still use that same money we are using to buy rice, produce ours, then sell it in a very reasonable So way. in the meantime, while we produce, we can it just, just eat Gary or cassava. Yeah? <laughs> in the meantime, while we produce, we can just eat Gary or cassava. Um, we can also we cannot we can just eat gari uh, and, and, and cassava i think we should strike a balance mm -hmm. we should strike a balance we should not just be dependent on the 
uh, rice production. But I think the uh, rice production then will say, okay, let's eat Gary. I think it is because we have not been focused on the on the on, okay. on it. So you, because you have, even take loans. You to have your blog. Rice, you have your blog. Your, your blogging yeah. platforms to so go and Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, this is where we draw the curtains down in today's edition of Wake Up Sierra Leone. Remember, our quote for today's program has been from late Kofi Annan, who says, "Education is a human right with immense power to transform." On its foundation rests the cornerstones of freedom, democracy, and sustainable human development. I am Fabian Wheel. And I am Samuel Weisbanguru, apologizing to your viewers and listeners again for the, um, well, the non-show up of uh, the representatives from the office of the First Lady and the Ministry of Information. We apologize. And this is how we tell you to continue staying with us because we are your home of all things credible, factual, and all times balanced, AYV. Take care of yourself. Have a good day. Cheers. watching AYV television.